Greetings, Soulswind here, and welcome to Let's Play Parkasaurus. Yep, this is Raw Let's Play number 6. Parkasaurus is a tycoon management simulation game, and we manage a zoo full of dinosaurs in vibrant colors. The game has somewhat of a cartoonish design that provides a lighthearted gameplay, so it's not so much like the usual dinosaurs that we see depicted in other games and illustrations of dinosaurs. The game is released on 13 August 2020, developed and published by Washbear Studio. And I'm playing the game on PC through the Steam platform. About the dinosaur, here. Yeah, you can see that this is the original and we can... I think... I'm not sure if how I can select this one. This is the uh, the different texture. Oh yeah, this is the button here. You know, it would be more intuitive allowing me to select it instead of like clicking on this button. But this has the realistic texture, which probably will make it look more like an actual dinosaur. Anyway, we'll start with this and maybe in the next episode we can try out this one. So for Raw Let's Play, I don't really do a lot of research. I think I played this once, going through the tutorial and probably the first map. So you can see here, there's already a quick save. But we're not going to the quick save, I've deleted all the progress and we're going to play the campaign. I really don't know much about the game because, like I said, it's only the first map or probably the second. We'll soon find out when I enter the world map, but for now, we're playing on version 1.33a. Also, if I recall correctly, I don't think we had this option available, like selecting between the realistic one and the original. It was by default this and only this. Let's take a look at the release notes. Yeah, yeah. this one, realistic alternate dinosaurs. This was implemented in version 1.2, and when I first played this, 19th of August, mm, I don't think this was available. On screen, we'll show when version 1.2 was out. For now, we are going to the world map. Tutorial? Toronto? Yeah. I guess we can start with the tutorial once again. We have some skill trees here, and... Do I have... Okay, I've got nothing unlocked. And I have four ship parts. So it costs me two to get this. 15% extra experience gained by employees. Bonus ship part-time. Huh. Or bonus ship part-time. I don't know. I guess... Probably complete it in two days, which we probably won't be able to do so because I know nothing. I guess we can speed it through to get the proper ship parts, so let's try our best to finish it in two days. The sound effect pans. Is there a story behind this? I know it's a campaign, but there's a story? Commander Ollie here. It's nice to meet you, human. Welcome to your first dinosaur park. I will be looking into ways we can enhance the well-being of our dinosaur friends. This looks like a big, empty area to set up our dinosaur park. There's quite a lot of garbage around, but every great dinosaur park has to start somewhere. But first things first, navigating around your park is easy and important. Let's give it a try. From Ollie. Ollie. Why does it sound so familiar? Anyway, hold down the mouse button to pan the camera. I'm holding down the mouse button. Oh, right mouse button, okay. Hand the camera six times. Okay, we gotta finish this in like two days, right? Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Okay. Press Q and E to rotate. Oops, sorry. Too fast. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, there. Science Officer Luca reporting for duty. It's almost time to meet your first dinosaur. 
I'm excited to see how their biological systems function in this atmosphere, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Commander Ollie said we should set up an exhibit first. Exhibits are where your dinos live. You design exhibits to match your dinos needs and increase dino happiness. For now, let's create a simple exhibit for your first dino. Select the wood fence to build an exhibit. Huh, okay, cool. Uh, where do I click? Oh, okay, it's here, huh? Wooden fans, right? Okay, we're gonna pan using the right mouse button. Oops, oh my goodness, wait, what? Okay. Okay, I can just scroll to the edge of the map and it will pan, so that's good enough. Great, now click on the fences and doors and add door to it. I think probably here. I mean, we don't need a door at the entrance. Place tiles to create a biome. Pax here. I piloted the crash ship into your planet. Your money is very shiny. We should really be collecting as much of this stuff as possible. I invented a way to collect these coins in bins called donation boxes. Okay. Buildings. So this is like number three. So we can press three to toggle to here and then two for this and then one for this. Ah, okay. And this one, facilities. Shift two, shift one, shift two. That's really intuitive. Good. So where do I put it? By the entrance? Right at the beginning? Mm, no, I think only after you've seen enough of the dino to decide whether you want to donate. I'm gonna put you here. Okay, what's next? Get your first dino. Uh, stego, you are stego, so we'll have a stego then. Right? I mean, you're stego, aren't you? Stego. What do I do? Click on this. And then this one. Place it in the exhibit. Okay. Takes time. Town's a great place to buy food, accessories for your dinos, or get loans. You can visit town anytime during the day, even at night time. Click on town. F2. F1, F2. Okay, cool. Vegetables. Right? Six plants. Okay. Yep, there it is. Six plants, right? Build a small vegetarian feeder inside your exhibit, which is here. There are many different types of dino feeders. Upgrading and researching new dino feeders give various bonuses to your dinos. Your new dino is a vegetarian. So let's get a vegetarian feeder. Okay. This one. Mm, put it at the... I don't know, I mean like... I recall they will be stressed and they won't eat if it's like right where the visitors are. But we'll put it slightly further and we can add some foliage here. If anything. Male. Caring for your dino best friends is a lot of work. Employees are a great help by doing many of the tasks in the park. Veterinarians are the primary caregivers for your dinos. Let's hire a veterinarian. Nope, not three. F3. And resume. <laughs> veterinarian, huh? This is like cost per day. So this is higher. Traits are very important, right? This is like 6, 9, 14. This is like 1, 3, 6, 11. This is like 11 also. This is like 10. But very expensive though. Personality. Ability. Personality. I think I'll hire Parman. Yes. Work ethic. Employees automatically find tasks to do in the park, assign tasks, you can assign the tasks of your employees. You can always look this information again in the Dinopedia. Cool. 
Is that all? F1. Watch the veterinarian fill the feeder. Are we like... Oh, time is passing. Time is passing. Wait, if, if we're in this, is it passing? It's still passing. Oh no, okay, that's not good. Hatch the egg. Yay, stego friend. Hi. Okay, we're gonna finish it in two days, isn't it? The day's about to end. The exhibit paint is a great tool to inspect the type of biome and biodiversity in your exhibit. Every dino species has a particular biome they prefer to live in. You can create a biome in your exhibit by first placing a base tile and then morph the biome by modifying the wetness and terrain. Okay, the base tile. So how do I do that? Open the fence pane? Open exhibit, click on fence, okay. Drag the tile, grass tiles to fill the exhibit. This one. So I gotta fill it, right? Okay, sure. No, uh, this is not enough. Yep, better. I think it will be here too. Then morph the exhibit. How do I morph it? Oh, this one. Add some water tool. I guess here. A little bit of water here. A little bit of water here. A little bit of water here. And maybe a little bit of water here. I don't want it to be too squarish. Rainforest. Ah, it needs to be rainforest. Okay, did I miss something though? Every biome has an ideal ratio of trees to bushes to rocks. This ratio is called the exhibit biodiversity and contributes to your dinosaur's exhibit score. Trees, bushes, and rocks can only live in particular biomes. Note that trees and bushes often need to be near water sources. Okay, I guess. So it needs to be near to water. Some of these, I think, not everything. Okay, maybe at the edges too. Built bushes as well. Oh my goodness, why is it in there? Okay, this part has some bushes as well. There's one bush like in the water, but it's okay, sure, fine, whatever. And we now need basalt. Okay, we just have a bit there, a bit of them in the water, and that's good enough. Yeah. Time to open the park so guests can visit. You can close your park at any point. Just remember, guests give donations and buy tickets. Open park. Press R to rotate. Wait, what? Oh, okay. How do I open park? Admission booth. Click open park. Okay. There. Okay, good. That's it. A janitor is a key member of your park staff. A janitor can repair fences, pick up garbage, empty toilets and more. Janitor automatically does tasks around the park and picking up garbage. Okay, we go to here. We need to hire a janitor and we have to be fast because the time passes even here. We gotta pause this in this menu, I think. This is 11 in total. 9 in total. 14 in total. 11 in total, 58, Caracas, Crony, Crony, <laughs> I think probably Crony, why not start with a level 2, it's a tutorial anyway, let's go, oh watch it clean 3 huh, And pause. Pick up the janitor and move. There. Faster that way. Great. 
This has been a lot of park training. Let's have guests arrive to the park to make some money. Have guests arrive. Yep. We gotta wait for them to arrive. We can't control when they do. Earn 30. Oh, we can charge more for it. Earn 30. Hey, you can pay $9. That will make it 30. Yeah. Okay, the next one will pay lesser. There. Nothing has ever gone wrong in a dinosaur park, especially movies about dinosaur parks. Trust me, just in case, how about we give our security some practice in case one of your dinosaur best friends decide to adventure outside their exhibit. Learn to tranquilize a dinosaur. Hire a security. Pause the game. Is there like a quick pause button or something? Oh, the spacebar key. I just intuitively press the spacebar key because usually that controls the speed. And it does. Good. Now resumes. Security. 10. 11. 11. And fear. You know what? And fear because inspire fear, right? Yeah. Why not? There you go. Tranquilize a dino. Tranquilize a dino. And uh, how do you tranquilize a dino? Request tranquilization. Where are you? You're here. Request tranquilization. Good. Unpause. Oh no, it's the end of the day, huh? So that's day one. Yep, there it is. Pick up the dino. And then it's now back in here. Release the dino in the exhibit. Next day. Oh my goodness. The end of the day is a good time to look at all aspects of your park. Hearts are rewarded at the end of the day for happy dinosaur. Or super happy ones. Good. So, we spent a lot. Ticket sales and donations, not too much. Tutorial on today, negative. No hearts gained. Maybe would have gotten some if it was like a happy one. Unfortunately, it wasn't. I'm gonna pause it first. There, put it back here. Are you done? Can you? Yeah, okay, good. We need to finish this in like two days, right? Let's explore the world of science. Science credits are used in the science tree to unlock useful upgrades and items for your part. The most common way to generate science credits is to have scientists work at a science building or at a science presentation. From Luca. Pause the game first. Build the science building. Click this one. And where do we build it? Probably rotate it and build it here, I guess. Science generate science credits. You generate science credits by placing a scientist on a science node. Pick scientists up using the icon. Science nodes are found on science buildings and presentations. Good. That's all. So we need to go to F3, visit this, and hire a scientist. 14. But personality is low, so you won't be able to present well. Not very good. I think it's much better. We'll hire you. Good. Play scientist on worker sport. Generate 20 signs. Where's my scientist? Are you the scientist? Can I... Research? Okay, good. Generate signs 20. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's not good. 20? Each round you run through is, I don't know, one, two. You can see here, there's this little countdown. Uh, how fast is that? I don't know. Can I build one more though? I mean, like, if I don't, then there's going to be a problem, isn't it? How many sciences did I have? Four, okay. Each time you generate four.
Science building here, yeah. Ah, okay, so this is what it is, but I cannot build one more. So we have to wait for you to finish. And that's gonna take precious time. I should have figured out how to pause the game sooner. Unfortunately, I didn't. Are you happy? No, not really. You're not very happy. Why are you not happy? Okay, it's done. We'll pause the game while we wait for the next hint. Time to expand the park with more dinosaur best friends. Use the portal to dig up skulls and footprints and use them in the egg store. Okay, cool. Let's go into here. Click on the portal. Yeah, I did. What now? Open the portal. Open portal. Oh, this is the one. Okay. Select a time period below the portal to determine what dino parts to dig. Use the current scientist to dig for skulls and footprints. Each of your scientists has a unique dig type. Exploring now. What do you mean? Take time, so explore your park and return later. Oh no, that's not good. My goodness, are we not able to finish everything in one day? The bonus part is like two days and this itself forces us to wait and obviously this is not going to work. We gotta explore our park, right? And I don't want to explore the park because I want this to finish up sooner. You're unhappy. Why are you not happy? Privacy. Adding opaque walls. How do I check the privacy? How do I check the privacy? Is there like a privacy thingy? Privacy view? Ah, okay. There it is. So maybe this is like not private at all. So what I can do is I can change the terrain. Can I replace it? Yeah, just just put this back here. No? Can I raise the ground? A little bit flattened terrain? Like that? No! Oh, okay, that was very worrisome. Privacy tile. There we go. Yeah. So, would that be better? Yeah, allows you to eat better, right? Yep, allows you to eat better. So there's some privacy tiles for you to just head over and eat. Right? It's almost time and we're still not done yet. Okay, we gotta speed this up then. I'm just gonna speed this up because I just don't want to return again to the tutorial just to get the bonus. Yeah, okay, done. Pause. And we're gonna click on the dig. And be careful, find two footprints. Ten items left. Click on the dig site to remove dirt. Ooh, I have a lot. Okay, you know what? Let's use these first. Hang on, let's use this first. Like this? I think that'd be good. There's one. There's two. This is... Like that. Okay, you're done. Okay, you're fine. Can I rotate this? Oh, I can. Good. You're done too? Yep. There it is. Four items left. There it is. Okay, three items left. Two items left, one item left, and we're done. That's all. If you want to dig further... Ooh. Yeah, we can use it all up, can we not? Okay, how about... Does it even matter? Ah, okay, that's all. Uh, we're done. Return home then. Oh, okay, no. We can go to here. Is it like almost night time? Luckily, we already earned a gem from earlier. Go to town, visit egg store, buy our first egg. Triceratops? I guess? You live in the rainforest as well. 
Sure, why not? There. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Right, we're done with that. Now, what's next? Click down and hold to fill the beaker to unlock a science technology. Click down and hold? Wait, what? Unlock a science technology? This? Wait, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Decorations, uncommon gem, employee learn to pour water on the ground. Provide education and generate science points. Information for your guests. I think these two are really important. These two, not so much. So, science points, very important. And uh, we can get this. Okay, and we can get this too, right? Can we not? Yeah, these two. Because, like, this is also important. This and this, they both give money. 20 guests visit your park. Oh my goodness, really? It's almost night time. Wait, did I just skip what was written there? Well, I told you everything I know about being a good dinosaur park manager. There is much more to explore, but you are on your own to gaining park fame and becoming a great park manager. Good, I think I missed something. Okay, I'm gonna cut to that and read it with it frozen on screen now. I'm so sorry. Remember the science credits? What are they good for? Let me tell you. Science credits are used to unlock science technologies such as new buildings, upgrades, and perks. Go to the science tree and unlock a science technology. Well, I already did. Let's go. We need 20 in our park. How do we have 20? Do we have 20? Have 20 visit? You only start counting now? Really? Seriously? Come on, visit, master. Earn 500, no way. Wow, GG. My goodness, we already have so much, but yet it's not enough. Park's about to close, is that it? Come on. Nine. Can we, can we change the donation one? No? We gotta earn from here then. Come in faster, come on. We gotta charge more then. Before the park closes, please. Come in. I have to return to this. What? I am so close. Are you serious? Look, five away. And now, my goodness, really. This is ridiculous, okay? This is just ridiculous. What, are you serious? Okay, what do I get now? It's done. Continue playing. Mission complete. Two. Two days. Wait. What? Wait. What? Did the first day not count? I got the two ship parts. I can continue playing, yes, but I don't have to. Okay. Interesting. We can return to the world map, but... If I click on continue playing, it's just this, right? It's just gonna come back here, right? And, uh, what is... Okay, okay, sure. Slow it down. There's a car park here, so maybe we can change the parking lot size or something. Ooh, okay, that's a lot of parking lots. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we can continue here. Isn't it, like, day three? So, why is it, like, two days? Quick save, and then exit. Yeah, sure. So what do we have here? Two. Okay, sure. This one, four days. Bonus ship part-time. We got it though. It's checked. This is not checked. We gotta finish it in four days. Oh, so my progress wasn't deleted. I checked the recording, so we started with four rockets. We have five now. I did not notice, but even though I deleted the save, I deleted the progress, one rocket was already registered as earned on the tutorial. Three rockets here already registered as earned. Huh, really interesting. I thought I deleted everything, but apparently not. 
So that also means that maybe some of these that needed to be unlocked with the rockets or rather the ship parts. I would call it rocket because it's the shape of a rocket. Anyway, you can see here like 5758 and whatnot, right? I suppose there might have been something locked in here too, but because we unlocked the ship parts, we were able to proceed. And also just wondering that is this like a milestone that we need to hit or is it like an expenditure? We'll have to find out only upon earning. We on, we'll, we'll have to find out upon earning this much rockets or, you know, ship parts. That's it, the tutorial's done. Next episode, we'll proceed to an actual campaign mission, but interesting how the third day was considered two days. Wasn't it three days? How does it calculate this then? We'll still try to complete this in like four days time. We'll still try to complete this in the actual four in-game days time. Whatever happened at the tutorial could be an anomaly. Oh, also we have this amount and the part value is just 3,000. Really? We have 6,000 but the part value is lower. Doesn't it include the money that we have? Maybe not. I do wonder how would the ticket price affect visitors? Would there be lesser visitors? We'll find out more about this game in the next episode. Thank you for watching. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day.